It's probably staring you in the face. You just can't see it. It's a bag of blood, not chicken lo mein. Well, what could happen to it? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. It was here before I left, and now it's gone. Who else has keys to this place? Besides a manager, nobody. Except... Who? Stacy. I'm calling Bo. Rex, no. Stan got what he wanted. He's not going to bother us again. I don't care. The son of a bitch hit you. Can you please just not go to guy mode for a second? I'm sorry. Tell me what happened. So I was, I was worried about you meeting up with Stan, and so I just decided to take my mind off things, and I started looking around for some reasonable day trips for you, me, and Shane. Then all of a sudden... Stan just bursts in. You think I'm playing with you? Where's my money? Whoa. 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 He burst in. I know for a fact that I locked the door behind me. Oh. Oh, that's right. Maybe he knocked, and I, I, I thought it was you, and you forgot your key or something. That was it. But there he was, all pissed off, yelling about how he knew we weren't going to pay him, so he was going to have to take what he could get. I tried to hide the money, but he caught me. And that's when he got really mad. He grabbed the bag, and I tried to fight him off, but he just pushed me down and told me he was going to have to teach me a lesson. Wait a sec. How did Stan know that I wasn't going to pay? Uh, I, I don't know. I think he said when he was at the park, he saw you, and so something tipped him off. He must have seen me with Gigi. What were you doing with Gigi? She, she could have made a copy of keys while she was staying with me and then just held on to them. Just in case she needed a bag of her own blood? Well, what other explanation is there? I mean, unless she sent Kyle to do it, I know those two are working together. It's the only thing that makes sense. Or there never was any bag of blood, and this is all just one big fantasy on your part. You think I'm making this up? It does sound freakish. Yeah, especially coming from a perverted thieving drug addict like myself. Is that right? I didn't say that. No. No, you, you didn't have to. Yeah, I'm in recovery. Okay, no, it's not something I advertise. Clearly, Stacy has no problem shouting it from the rooftops. My relationship with Star Manning was inappropriate, yes, but it wasn't because I was trying to get with her. It's because we both had things from our pasts that connected us, and I, as a teacher, exhibited poor judgment in discussing it with her. I was suspended for that, and, and you know what? I'm fine with that, but let me make something very clear, okay? It was not because anything sexual was going on at all. I've never lied about that, and I'm not lying now. And finally, there was a bag of blood in that refrigerator it had stacy's name on it and if you still don't believe me then why don't you ask the other person that knows about it rex i don't think i'm in a position to ask rex much of anything right now i was keeping an eye out for stan when Gigi showed up with your ex sky yeah we got into it a little bit stan must have seen us and I thought it was some sort of sting operation and took off. Damn it! You come to think of it, um, he did say something about a short-haired brunette. This is my fault? No, it's not. It's my fault. I was the one who stole that money from Stan. I was the one who he followed back to Landview. And, and I was the one who couldn't fight him off when he tried to steal your money. I don't care about the money. I care about you. You do? Of course I do. Do you want to go to the hospital? No, I'll live. Are you, are you sure? You look awful. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be fine. Just as long as you don't mind taking care of me. I don't mind at all. Wake up. Peas, carrots, peas and carrots. I'm sorry for wasting your food. I don't eat this stuff. I just bought it so that I could tell Gigi I had healthy food in the apartment for Shane. So you and Gigi really got into it, huh? I don't want to talk about Gigi. I want to know what else I can do to make you feel better. The peas help. I got this really bad crick in my back from Stan pushing me. Oh, 
I'm just gonna have to sleep it off. I'll massage it. Oh, you don't have to. I insist. Rex's house of healing hands at your service. Relax, I'll take care of everything. You know, when you say that, I actually believe it. So I guess we're at what they call an impasse, huh? You know what? No. No, we're not. I've spent so many months lying to the people I love that I don't know where the lies end and the truth begins. And what you told me just now, it took guts to bust out all that information I didn't even deserve to hear. You are not the enemy, Skylar. My sister is, and I am a world-class jerk for shaming that confession out of you. I'll live, you know. And besides, the stuff I know about what your sister did to you is just as personal, so. It's just I don't know how to deal with this, because someone out there saved my son's life. And if it wasn't my sister, then who was it, and how do we prove it? <laughs>